With the settings that I showed you in the previous video on the FE115, I've taken uh, these these pictures, and what, what I'm using is uh, um, Photoshop, um, Adobe, uh, but you can do this with Jask Paint, it's exactly the same, or more or less the same. That I'm not going to try and adjust any colours, I'm not trying to put false um, false colours into anything. This is uh, this is how they came out of the camera. The camera was set to uh, the, the best uh, quality, by the way. Um, if it's, I, I can't remember what it is, but uh, it's about 1900 or something. Um, it's, it's quite good. So what we'll do is we'll take one photo and we'll make it into a more professional looking photo very simply by not adjusting any colours, not doing anything like that. What we're going to do is we get this, this the camera gives you a grey, uh, it sort of wants to grey out whites, so we've got to do something about that. The first thing we do is put, uh, I use auto colour on here, to make sure that, to, because the camera's got uh, no um, white balance adjustment, it just gives a, it makes sure that this is a grey to start off with. Um, then adjustments is brightness and contrast. If we on this one, you, you just have to bring it up until you're not over burning anything out. Um, a bit of contrast maybe. Perhaps it's a bit too much. There we go. I'm only doing it by eye. And then what we do is go to the standard paint tool, a paint brush. Now this is a standard brush tool. Um, it's got a bit of fuzzy around the edge. Um, and it's normal white, it's a standard white tool, so hold the left button down and get rid of a lot of this grey that's around the outside here for a start. And that's it. And now we're going to use the burn tool. I think this might be a slightly different um, uh, icon in the uh, Jask paint. Um, but it works the same way. On this I have to hold the Alt down otherwise it it makes it darker but I've got a bit of a fuzzy edge and what this does is just feathers out and brightens up the background without cutting out any of the the photo so you can't get rid of all the shadows and don't I wouldn't attempt to but even so that looks quite reasonable. And the next thing we do is we use the uh, the cropping tool. I've set the width to 600 by 450. They're my standard picture sizes. They're quite small. Um, set it up so it's nice and even. And then double click to cut it. And look at the resulting photo. Which is good. that's that's the maximum that you'd get on EBID or or uh, Greed Bay. Um, so that's one. Uh, we can do the same thing again with uh, this. Like I say, we're not going to try and falsify the colours. We go image auto colour, get the grey, brighten it up. Just get some brightness in there. Can, with gold, you can you can take it a bit further with the, with a bright contrast we've done that oh why did it do that oh, i've got to, i've got this still selected okay i should have selected that instead um right now we use the burn tool uh no hold on we don't use the paint tool get rid of the standard with a standard brush get rid of the outside grayness i might have overburnt this actually i might have over brightened it i shouldn't have done that but never mind it, uh, I could always step back and do it again but just click into these dark places and go around the edge and try and get rid of some of this greyness it is slightly over brightness but we've got another one to do anyway so we do this bring it down crop it and the resultant photo isn't too bad All right there's that one and then you can do let's do this one let's try not to over brighten this one so we go to image auto color to give it a gray background adjustments brightness that looks about right a bit of contrast maybe okay 
the paint tool again, paintbrush, just standard paintbrush, go around the outside, try not to touch the the actual image because you'll white it out, and then the burn tool, press alt, just go around the edges, and inside, brightens it up a bit, there we go. Right, crop tool, double click, there's the resulting image, and then what I do is I save for web devices, on Jask Paint you don't have to do this, I think it automatically saves it as a, a JPG, but I've got the thing set for JPG, it automatically comes down to image size 600 by 450 which is what we cropped it at, and then save it to uh, save it as whatever you want, um, brooch or whatever, uh, brooch 1 in this case, save, and that's done. That's, uh, that's what I do.